Yep, and we're back with another one. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another edition of The Prime Parents. I am your host, Big Dog Chico. This is episode four of season two. Be sure to check out season one. All of those episodes are available right now on my page, on my channel, should I say, on YouTube. You can check them out right here and scroll down. See interviews with Alton McCaskill, mom, uh, Caleb Mathis, mom, Tyler Brown, uh, Alejandro Mata, and more. Check them out right there uh, at your leisure uh, season one of prime parents all available right now but we have a special guest coming into season two of course like i said episode four we got a special one um today's show i have the mother of a speedster one of the top athletes out of the state of georgia uh current signee Commit me committee or uh, commitment to Colorado. I'm messing up all my words today as I'm nervous as you can see myself as I'm with one of the <laughs> one of the great moms that we have on Prime Parents, Miss Denise Michael out of Statesboro, Georgia. I'm gonna have her join me on right now. How you doing, Miss Michael? How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm sorry to mess up your intro, but I did the best I can <laughs> right now. I'm nervous myself. I should get worse, so it's okay. <laughs> You got the 79th ranked player, uh, Mr. Cam Michael, super fast quarterback, running back, cornerback, athlete, recruited by each and every school that you can possibly be recruited by. He even made his uh, announcement on It Is What It Is show, and I'll show that picture right here. You guys were featured on there with the legendary rapper Cam Run uh, from Dipset, and it was revealed that he was named after Cam Run so tell us about that. How did that come about? And uh, you've been a Dipset fan for how long? <laughs> well, it was actually his father that came okay. up with that. Because um, we came up with Cameron, but I didn't want it to be just plain like Cameron. So his dad came up with Cameron. And we spelled it with a K as opposed to a C. Mm, okay. Did he ex explain to you then that it was coming from uh, a rapper at the time? Yes. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it ended up being a legendary rapper and one who has his own sports show now and it kind of came full circle with having him on there to announce that he's going to Colorado with Coach Prime, which we'll get into later on in the show. But we're going to have to start and take it way back and talk about, uh, well, I won't say way back like it's a long time ago. But let's talk about back. Uh, give us your past history and talk about your background. Um, well, I'm a real estate broker. A tax preparer. I have a clothing business, and I'm a mobile notary. So nice. So, so uh, born and raised in Georgia. Yes, and well, you've never heard of it, I'm sure, but it's Sylvania, Georgia, Scriven County. That's where I was raised in Scriven County. Okay, and that's near. Um, where is that near? Uh, uh, where you Savannah? It's like an hour from Savannah. Yes. Okay, South East Georgia. Yes. All right. Gotcha, gotcha. Tell us about uh, your family history. You have brothers and sisters, siblings, things of that nature. How did you grow up? Um, I have two sisters and a brother. Okay, cool. All right, and so then you go on. You have one child, as you told me before, uh, with with Cameron. Tell me about his early years growing up. Um, <laughs> how was he as a child? Cam is the complete opposite now than what he was as a child. As a child, he was bad as I don't know what. He had a <laughs> mouth out of this world, but now he's just as cool and calm, and he's he's the perfect child now. Yeah. yeah. All right. And he's a uh, multi, uh, multiple sport athlete. Yes. Uh, playing basketball. Uh, you were telling me that his game got canceled this oh, week. Uh, how, how's he doing in basketball right now? Uh, they're doing pretty good. They um they've only lost two games so far. So the I think the record is like eleven and two right now. So they're doing very, very good right now. Nice, nice. And did you think about playing basketball in, in college or was it all football? No, it wasn't actually football. Cam always wanted to play basketball. Basketball was his thing. And even going from middle school to high school, he told me he's not gonna play football in high school. He's just gonna focus on basketball. But he ended up playing basket, playing football, and that's what he's going to school for. So he's not going to do basketball at all in college. Okay. But he is a uh, super athlete on both sides of the ball, uh, quarterback, running back, uh, wide receiver, cornerback. Um, yes. And he picked the, the perfect coach to go play for who's, been, who, who's done that before, played all over the field, 
But let's take a step back and talk about recruiting. Because this guy was recruited, like I said, by everybody. Y'all took visits everywhere. You see here, Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia Tech, uh, Georgia. Oh, shoot, everybody wanted him. And even, um, you know, you had family members and friends wanting him to go to all these different schools. And I'm sure a lot of them wanted to go to Georgia, as we'll see in this video later on. Yes. How was it uh, being recruited by Colorado and to make that decision to go with Colorado over all of these other big time SEC schools? Um, I wasn't shocked at all that Cam chose Colorado over the bigger schools because that's just Cam. That's just the way that he is. Um, and he loves like the underdog. So I kind of figured that Cam would have. And we traveled around looking at other going to all the other schools and everything. But he just was like not satisfied. He just nothing felt like home to him. So I started watching Prime with well, Coach Prime when he was at Jackson. And I was like, I wonder if they're going to reach out to my baby. And then we were on our way back from Alabama and he got an email for an invite. But he was like, no, Mom, we just got back from Alabama. We're not going. And then lo and behold, he went to Colorado. And then they reached out at Colorado. So, Wow. So what made you start watching him at Jackson State? What was the intrigue there? Uh, I just like his messages that he was posting on Instagram. I stay on Instagram most of the time, all night. I'm on Instagram, and I was watching his messages, and I liked the messages that he was delivering to the players. So that was a good thing for me. And I just was like, I think it would be good for Cam to play for him. But I didn't tell Cam that. I let it be Cam's decision on where he wanted to go. But when they did reach out to him, I was excited that they did reach out to him. But I did not want him to go to Colorado. I'll be honest with you. My first trip to Colorado, I was like, no, Cam, we're not doing this. <laughs> and then I wanted him to stay close to home. Yeah. And then finally, um, as I was getting better, because I got sick, and as I was getting better with my illness, I told him, I said, well, you can just go wherever you want to go. I'll just have to do what I got to do to get to you. And he scheduled his official visit with um, Colorado. Gotcha. And uh, the recruiting process, what was different? as far as the recruiting process with Colorado, as opposed to some other schools? Um, I mean, just, just from your perspective, it don't have to be, well, this, this, that, but from your perspective, uh, what you felt or what you saw, what was different uh, with Colorado's rec recruiting? Uh, my first trip there, um, Box and Nick, they really made me comfortable. So um, that's why I was comfortable there. Then on the second trip there, um, which was our official visit, it was Nick again. But then something happened with Cam. Um, and I was out and about and he needed some he needed some assistance. And Corey stepped in, Corey Phillips, he stepped in and he took care of it and everything. And I ain't have to sweat my wig out. So I was like, yeah, I think I'll be comfortable with him going to Colorado. And then we had another player that was there with us as well. And I normally just sit back and listen to the boys and let them decide and everything. So as we got back in the car to get ready to leave from the campus and we were going back to the hotel, um, the other guy that was with us, he was like, Miss Denise, I think this is it. And I looked at Cam and I was like, so what's up? And he was like, yeah, this is it, Ma. So that's when I started asking them more questions at that time to make sure that it was going to be a good fit for them. Wow. And that other player, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think he might have went to another place. So, you know, I, I've been in that situation before being a recruit and then wanting to go to a school with my friend and then the friend ended up making another decision. How yeah, did that kind of sway or maybe weigh on Cam's decision? Did he kind of think about it? Oh, maybe I need to rethink this or, you know, this is my path. And maybe that kid is going on his, his path. This is my path. So I'm going to stay on my, my path and go my way. Well, one thing about Cam is Cam is a man of his word. And when he tells you something, that's what he's going to do. So he took forever to finally commit. And then once he said, once he does commit, he's not decommitted. Mm -hmm. And so um, even when when we were talking about it and the other guy flipped it on, I was like, Kim, are you sure? I was like, you still don't have to sign today. We can just wait. And he was like, no, this is what I'm going to do. And after he did his commitment on Thanksgiving, I still ask him every day, are you sure this is what you want? And then finally got to the point where I walk in, I look at him. He said, this is what I want. Before I could even ask him, he said, this is what I want. That's right. Very sure of himself. I like that. I like that from the young man. Uh, I can show you some pictures that we can get into also. Uh, we also have the chat going. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Let me know where y'all checking in from. Give a shout out and leave your questions to Miss Denise Michael, who's in here. Uh, from Georgia right now, we got people all over checking in. 
uh, just in case uh, you don't know. But I wanted to get into these pictures because the pictures are worth a thousand words. They are. And let me just flash some and let me know what you think when I flash them. Okay. Oh, this was a fun day. This was I was being a loud mouth that day. And um, <laughs> they made me get in that picture. But I didn't know we were on live. When Corey is holding the phone there, I didn't know we were on live. But I enjoyed it. That was on our official visit. And I really did enjoy that. Yeah. You said something right there. You said you was being a loud mouth. Now that goes yes, back to it's unusual because I don't talk a lot, but that particular day I was doing a lot of talking. You said also on the is what it is podcast. You said I'm that loud mouth parent. That's you in the, At the games, yeah. Because I'm sideline coaching, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball, football, no matter the sport. No matter yeah. whatever it is. I am track. I love track because I ran track in high school as well. But yeah. That's me. I'm out there. I'm cheering him on. And all bets are on Cam. I don't care what. I hit the clip for him. Right. So. Exactly. You say you ran track in high school. My sister ran track in high school. And she really inspired me, man. I used to see her running track out there. I, I don't know why I didn't step on the track and do it. But tell us about um, your track background. We see how super fast. Yeah. We see how super <laughs> fast Cam is out there on the field. Um, I guess that comes from you and your track background. Tell us about that. What Cam runs is exactly what I ran in high school, the 100, the 200, and the 4 by one Oh. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. I was a speedster, but not – and I would run with Cam up until he started beating me. I don't like to lose. So once he started beating me, that's when I was like, no, I'm not running anymore. But I used to run with him up until he got, like, in middle school. I would run with him. Wow. Amazing. All right. Let me see another picture right here. Boom, from Colorado. Yeah, that was on the official visit as well. Okay. And how, how was it um, in, in the stadium at Folsom Field? What did you feel about that stadium out there? Um, the fans are – I I mean, I really enjoyed it. And Cam loved it as well. He was He's not a big talker, but he was talking to the fans and everything. So I just think it's going to be a good fit for him there. Okay. You have some superstars there. In Colorado, I heard Cam say on on once again uh, the "It Is What It Is" podcast about the marketing aspect of going to Colorado with Coach Prime. Um, how how much did that weigh into it, and uh, how do you see Cam using like that marketing to his advantage, uh, business wise, brand wise, whatever? How does that play into it? How do you see him using that to his advantage? That was me talking. And I think Cam just like the last thing I had said to him, I think he just repeated the last thing that I had said to him. And he wasn't really speaking from what he experienced there himself. It was just my big mouth talking to him. So, because I'm all about the marketing part of it, because I'm always trying to do something for my businesses. So. Right. So, yeah, from that aspect of it, from a CEO, from a business owner, what did you see differently or what, what is there differently that Colorado can present that maybe other schools can't right now? That prime effect, honey. It's that prime effect. Nobody else can do that. Nobody else has that. Right. Can't be duplicated. Right. They're often imitated, but never duplicated. Exactly. <laughs> All right. I think I have another picture right here. Let me see. All right. That's my mama, the Georgia fan, and my aunt. Um, they they come to all the football games and majority of the, the away basketball games, they're with me at the away basketball games and they come to every home football game to cheer on Kim. Yeah. So they are big supporters. Grandma and auntie. Yeah, but they're not going to go. They've already said that they're not going to Colorado. So I just need to pay for it so they can watch it on TV because they don't want to fly. Well, guess what? You don't have to pay for it unless, you know, unless you got to get cable or something like that. But it, it, somehow, it was, some way you're going to be able to watch it. Yeah, right. some channel that it was on last year, they weren't able to watch the game. Some game that we were at, they couldn't watch it. So they yeah. was like, I just need to make sure I pay for that so that they can watch it. And I'm like, that's fine. We can do that. Yeah, I think that's that Pac-12 network stuff. So with them moving to the Big 12, right, it's going to be readily available and that's uh, good. on some times that are going to be uh, conducive for them to sit up and watch it late night uh, or whatever time it come on. Because everything won't be on that Western uh, time frame anymore. Uh, okay, coming that's with great. Them. So, yeah, it's going to be uh, much easier for them uh, to watch coming soon. And um, if you want to get into it so people can, you know, we can get a little plug right here, a little commercial right here. You want to talk about um, the real estate business because you got a lot of people checking in, listening, watching right now from the Georgia area. 
And it looks like right here, you service in all of those areas that we, as we have a little commercial, Atlanta, Lawrenceville, Covington, Marietta, Decatur, Conyers, Gainesville, coming, coming, uh, McDonald and Macon, Georgia. Shout out to young Jeezy. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, you want to give a plug right there? Let people know how they can find you. Um, I'm located, my office is centrally located in Statesboro, but I do go within a 75 mile radius of Statesboro. I do go to Atlanta if needed, and I focus on Augusta area quite often. Nice. So y'all check that out. Uh, business owner right here doing her thing, uh, raising an uh, amazing young man in Cam Michael, and uh, she is a prime parent, as you can see right here. Y'all check them out right there. Camden Realty incinc.com camdenrealtyinc.com 912-531-7878 get you some holler at her and she'll hook you up if you don't know now you know i just told you so um <laughs> uh what do you expect from colorado this year and what do you expect from cam this year coming in uh, as a freshman well cam is gonna get like um i really wish cam would have went to like now and be there now but he wanted to go ahead and finish out his senior year and i understand it because he can't get that experience back so i support that 100 but um i know that he's going to work hard when he does get there this summer so that he can try to be ready by the time the season comes and i hope that he does get to play um some i know he won't get to, i don't think he'll get to play a lot but i hope he does get to play some this year and i think that they'll do a whole lot better than what they did last year because i think they learned from the last season when they had that big lead, they took their foot up off their throats and they came back and got them. Yeah, exactly. I think they'll, they'll remember that forever. Right. And that, that's going to uh, breed more uh, understanding on how to put those uh, finishing touches on those wins. Like Coach Prime said, we got to learn to win. And that is true. You right. have to learn to win. got to learn to, as my coach used to say back in there, you got to kill a gnat with a sledgehammer. I say, what? Kill not with a sledgehammer. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's a little bit overdoing it. Like, yes, overdo it. Kick yeah. them wide down. <laughs> uh, uh, real quick, let's see. We got uh, some comments coming in. So I guess we can get into some comments now, y'all. Ask these questions. And I can show them to you to where you can see them now. So we'll see comments and questions. Thinking about relocating to Georgia, we'll keep her contact. Okay. You, yes, ma'am. That's exactly what happened, mama. I'm just clicking on random ones, and then I'll read them. So hopefully it's be something. It's not. It is definitely not for the week. Yeah, being a business owner ain't for the week. Tell us, uh, give us some advice for being a business owner. You say you had how many businesses? And uh, talk talk about that, the life of a business business owner right quick. Well, it's a lot of multitasking. Um, I have four businesses that I'm running right now, and it's just me. Um, I do have an assistant, but he um, he he's mostly out in the field. So it's just me that's in the office most of the time. Um, I do have some agents that work under me, but they work another job as well. So they're doing real estate part time. But it is a lot of multitasking. So I'm going from real estate for like half of the day and then I do taxes as well. And then I'm working on my clothing business, which I'm going to reopen my clothing business on um, February the 1st because I closed it down last year and I'm going to reopen it on February the 1st. And I'm a mobile notary. Oh, so. nice. Very nice. I like that. Um I think i had a picture of that too i could share that um so for all of that, those things where can people uh contact you locate locate you other than um the website we flash is there another way for the other I have my, um well my cell number the 531-7878 that's my number for everything um each business has their own phone number and each business has their own website but i have one central location which is 1827 north side drive and i just call that denise enterprises because everything is located at the same location Wow. All right. Okay. Here it is right here. Boom. Help you find a house you can call home. Yeah. Only a message away. And I saw someone say in the comments that they're moving to Georgia. It, Dana. Georgia. Yeah. They're moving to Dana. Georgia. And they're glad they saw this. Good deal. Question. Uh, M favors question. Has she watched any other prime parents interviews? And if so, what does she think of them th thus far? Okay. <laughs> uh, put her on the spot right there. <laughs> yeah, I am on the spot. Um, I did watch them. I watched quite a few of them. Um, they were nice. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you watching them. I'm looking to buy a house in. Has, I've never heard of that one. Hepzibah. Hep Hep yeah. Okay. Tell me about the, uh, you. Uh, is that your area? It's it's close to the Augusta area. Okay. 
Nice. Career is not for the week. Um, links to those. I'll put those under the video. You can check them out. The links to her uh, website. I'll, yep, I'll put it in chat. I got you. I got you. No worries. <laughs> Anything you wanted to add? You want to give a shout out because I want to show has not changed those batteries yet. No, he has not. And I said something to him about it. No, he has oh, not. Oh, the smoke detector. Yes. <laughs> Man, you guys can pick up on every day go thing, don't you? Yes, they do. <laughs> Gosh. Um, they got to get him used to that altitude for the summer workouts. Did you notice the altitude when you went up there at all? On my first, on my first trip, it did bother me, but every other trip, I was fine. Okay. And what did you think about the mountains? I know coming from the south, shoot, well, you're in Georgia, you got Stone Mountain there. Yes, but, but we loved it. We loved it. Our first trip to Colorado, uh, we were driving down to Boulder, and it started snowing. And I'm like, Cam, do you see that? And he was like, yeah, I see that. And so, but it was snowing that weekend, and but we did, we still enjoyed it. But we're not used to driving in the snow, so it was it was a little difficult for me driving in the snow. And I darn sure wouldn't let Cam drive me in the snow. <laughs> was that during the spring game? It was the spring game, yes. Okay, yeah. So because they didn't have any other snow, uh, they didn't have any snow during the during the season and during the rest of the game. So mm -mm. that was a little was, different to have it during the spring. Right. Yeah. Uh, let me see. What is your clothing line? They're asking. It's Kamor's collections, and it's um, it's Kamor's with a K. K Y M O R A S dot com. M O R A S dot com. K Y M O R A S dot com. Yes. All right, I'm putting that in the chat right now. K Y. That's on my site right now. It's just like clearance items, but then I'm gonna reopen with other items on February the first. All right, sounds good, y'all. Supporter. Like y'all been doing me for the longest. I appreciate you guys. Make yeah, sure I guys appreciate support. it. Yes, indeed. Said mama is the truth. <laughs> uh, let me see. I was stationed in Fort Gordon back in the day. Uh, I was going to ask you this, though. Um, when riding into Boulder and you guys going down there, you see those mountains and stuff, and then it starts to snow. Uh, this is beautiful. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, that, that's yeah. beautiful. Sight. Um, that Saturday we went like up into the mountains and it had snowed, and then it was a deer jumping down the mountains. I was like, oh wow. It's like picture perfect, right? Yes, I did take a picture and send it to my family, but I should have kept it. I don't know what I did. I probably deleted it out of my phone by now. Oh okay. But if you plan on going to each and every game, you said road games and home games. That's my plan. Um I can I talked to Cam about me because I was thinking about getting an apartment up there, but since I'll be there so much, and I told him, I said, I think because he's planning his little vacation with his friends during April. So I said, I think in April I'm gonna go up there and I'm gonna look for an apartment. He said, Remember, it snows in April. I said, Well, never mind, I won't go in April. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to shoot you with the stiff arm right there, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I gotta get a few more questions in here um because we know that you know raising a young man like that is not easy to do you know what i mean give us give some of the parents out there some advice when being um a single mom and raising a young man and be being a business owner give give some of these you might have some moms who's listening in right now who feel like it's it's super tough or or they might not be able to get through some things uh what are some words of advice or encouragement uh for them out there well, the first thing is just to pray about it. I pray about every single thing. And it was tough um, raising Cam alone. Um, but I, one of my really good friends from high school, her dad, she had she has three boys and I have one boy. But her dad told us from the start, he said, what you need to do is make sure that them boys are scared of y'all. Mm. Put the fear in them. So, right. yeah. And I think I just had to nut up one time on Cam and he was fine after that. So the only thing, the, and I just had to teach him to pray because I don't know, but teaching him to pray and just keeping God first. Right. The most important thing that I had to drill in him. So he has that now. Right. And that's my mom. I'm um, growing up as a single mom, uh, you know, growing up with a single parent. My mom used to instill that in us. Get in her closet. She used to say, I used to think she was crazy to say this. Get in the closet in a dark space. And get on your knees and pray. I'm like, well, why? Why gonna do all that? <laughs> but it works though. It you know yeah. it makes sense. Now you can really have your own time and talk to God uh, freely without any um, distractions and things like that. So um, 
let me see. I want to get into this one right here. This is the video yeah. from his. Uh, This is a video from his signing day uh, from the house. Tell us about this day right here as it plays. It was just, we were trying to have, we were late having our Thanksgiving dinner. So we were trying to eat dinner as everybody was arriving. So it, I'm, I'm surprised that you don't see plates stuck somewhere in the video. And then when Ken was saying, oh, uh, he was trying to decide if he was going to pick up the hats. And I'm like, no, don't you pick up them hats. We had pickle jars up under those hats to make them stand up on the table. So I was like, don't you dare pick up those hats. And but we, we overall, it was a good day and we had a really good time. But most of the people that were there, you can tell, were Georgia fans. And that's where they wanted him to go, Georgia. But. So you guys had everybody come in the uh, attire and colors that they wanted him to sign it with? Yes, his, out of his top, um, it was top six, but he dropped it down to the top five the week of. And we just had everybody to come dressed in whatever school that they wanted him to go to. So everybody was represented there that day. And Cam and I, we had on um, just shirts that had question marks all over it because we didn't want anybody to know before he announced where he was going to go. My yeah. sister there in the Colorado shirt, of course, she knew um, already where he was going. And that's the Montre's mom with the other Colorado shirt on. Okay. Yeah, I see a few that's Colorado. That's one of my sisters. Yeah. So I, I, I would guess that Georgia was represented the most there. It was, Yes. <laughs> you guys have a big family um and all of them are are mainly uh, st uh rooted from uh georgia yes they are mainly rooted from georgia but um they did come into town for thanksgiving for just for this we did have family come from out of town for this amazing amazing video that's his basketball coach right there mm -hmm. so you have basketball coaches come who else made some uh cameos in here um, the first guy that was talking before the basketball coach was his um, was his track coach, which, which he was a football coach, but he's no longer at, at the school anymore. He moved off to he's coaching at a college now. Okay. So and he started all of us to crying. That's why Cam was crying mm -hmm. as he made his announcement because that coach he was crying, and then I started crying, and Cam started crying, and then it was just buckets of water. Um, one parent, um, I think it was uh, the father of Chidozi Wonko, who I had on here. He talked about how coaches can play a major impact in in parent and kids lives especially uh with the parents and uh he said i don't need you to you know uh take them in i just need you to reinforce you know what i've taught what, what i teach him and uh reinforce those values in him as a young man uh can you talk about how important coaches are to you especially as a single mom to know that he's with someone responsible he's doing something for, uh, and, and not being just out, you know, idle mind doing anything. Yeah. Um, the first coach that was talking there, which is Michael Summers, he is, that's the only one that I really, really trusted Cam with. I let him take Cam on some visits and everything like that. But I just, um, I just really, really, really trusted him with Cam. And then it was times that it was stuff that would come up with Cam that, I could, and as a woman, I wasn't able to help him out with that. So I would reach out to Mike, and Mike would, would talk to him about it and everything. Right. Very nice. And you see Coach Prime and uh, Coach Corey back there on the screen. Uh, how how has uh, it been meeting Coach Corey? Tell me something, uh, some good things about the staff, and uh, shout out Coach Corey also. <laughs> I love Corey. He is so down to earth. I just, I really love Corey. Corey and I love Nick as well, but he moved on. Um, but Corey is just down to earth. And when he came to Cam's rescue that night, that just that won me over. And I told him I really appreciate him. Yeah. And you could tell, um, you know, even when I met him up there, you could just see, you know, the type of energy that him and his staff exudes. Like you said, box out the box and um, and the whole staff that they have up there uh, with recruiting and player personnel that they have in Colorado. And he, Coach Prime, Surrounding himself with a bunch of young guys too, who are still, you know, highly energetic, personable. You can relate to them, um, and like you said, that kind of makes a difference when they can go out there and go beyond uh, what you might think that they would do. You know, they're in good hands in Colorado with these young men around, and he can learn from these younger men too and relate to them, yeah. right? And he can relate to those guys. They can relate to the players those younger guys can. So that's important. Yep, they can speak that language and that lingo to where they understand it and they're comfortable with it. So 
man, they even prayed on the video at the end right here. Shout out to Nick who moved on to Syracuse. He's a South South Georgia guy, uh, yeah. real good dude, young kid, uh, young guy. Played at UGA, uh, Georgia. We almost was, was, was teammates. That I went to Georgia, like they offered me to go to, but you know, I went the other route off. Shout out to UGA and all the dogs out there in Georgia. Let me see, home of the Buffaloes. He has on his shirt right there. Um, at the point where he made the decision, right, and I, and I won't hold you too much longer, but at the point he made the decision, very nice offer letter right there. At the point he made the decision, you say you knew, your sister knew, and it hit you that my baby is leaving. He's going way to a whole nother state. Tell me about that feeling one time. Well, Kim is like, Kim and I have like been attached at the hip for so long, so it's going to be very trying for me for him to leave. So I'm thinking that I'll um I'll be in Colorado more than I would like to. <laughs> so until I, I'm sure that he's comfortable there. So right. I think you're gonna it's gonna continue to grow on you, Colorado. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna love the college atmosphere there and everything that they have going on uh in Boulder. I like to say Boulder where it's colder, but not cold like this. I like to say cold like like uh, not cold like temperature i like to say cold like you know how we used to say back in the day oh that's cold you know that's nice in a yeah. cool slang term i think it's colder in boulder <laughs> yeah i like the town i like the city of boulder um while we were there we did um we did go out and we saw the town and everything and we enjoyed it we every time that we've been there we went out ourselves so that we can get to see the town and and see if he can get around and everything so the last time that we were there um of course, I gave him the car and just let him go off and do his thing. And then the next day, he was like, well, let me take you around and show you what I found while I was out. Mm. So he did take me and my sister around the next day. And we was like, okay, so I think he'll be good there. Yeah, I think he will, too. And and like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a breath, breath of fresh air, in my opinion, coming from the South and going up there. I call it like a little incubator system because this is away from everything. The mountains is like the... The, the wall, like you go into a building, you got your back to the wall, and you can see everything else. Nothing's gonna come from behind you. It's like it's like it's like a nice little area up there, just so these kids can go to school and concentrate on football and schoolwork. That's it. Uh, two questions before we get out: Have you met Coach Prime, and what do you think of him? Crystal Wise Williams said, uh, "Yes, we did meet Coach Prime on each visit when we went there, and we had we sat and we talked to him and everything like that. And I think that." Um, I think it'd be good for Cam to be there with him. Like he said, give him a boy, he'll give us back a man. And I'm giving him a boy, and I, I think that he'll give me back a man. Yes, yeah. yeah. And he's done a good job with his sons also, which um how how what do you think about Shadur, Shiloh, Travis, and and all of the, the superstars up there in Colorado? Well, I think that they're they're good guys. I think um I think that they're good guys. Uh, Shadur is one heck of a quarterback. Um, and I told Cam that on our first uh, – yeah, I think it was one of the games that we went to there. I didn't say heck. I said, Cam, that's one hell of a quarterback right there. I said, now, you definitely need to be here catching his passes. So yeah. as I'm going and visiting the schools or whatever, I'm paying attention to the game, and I'm seeing where my child will fit in there. And um, the team last year – I saw all the different things that Cam could have done there, but I see now it's going to be a totally different team. So I guess at the spring game this year, maybe I can sit back and I can evaluate and see where Cam could fit in there. That's that business woman at heart right there. Not, not letting anything go by her without evaluating it and staying on point. I like that right there. Uh, last question from Craig from St. Louis. Uh, hi, you doing – Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me click on this like this so I can read it bigger. My eyes getting. <laughs> uh, what do you do? You think he wants to play offense or defense? Has he decided? He wants to be a wide receiver, but he's not against playing on defense. Um, but he doesn't want to play defense strictly defense. He does not. Um, but he wants to play wide receiver. They have him as an athlete now, but um, wide receiver is what he wants to play. Now he's a good quarterback, but he's a damn good wide receiver. So um, I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. Oh, you good? <laughs> but he's a better he's a better wide receiver than what he is quarterback. So yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I think they might have some packages for him uh, next year uh, with what he's doing. 
you know, what, what I've seen him doing the football field with that speed from the quarterback position or reverses, wide receiver, whatever, he can make an impact as soon as he get on campus. That And that's anywhere in the country, I feel. And uh, that's what the coaches felt, too. That's why he was recruited by everyone. About how many offers do you think he had? Um, I stopped counting at 34. Yeah, so it was. I stopped counting at 34. And then it got to the point where it, if in order for me to know that he had an offer, I had to look on Twitter because in the beginning he was like, oh, my, I got an offer. He'll send it to me or whatever, telling me that he got an offer. Then it got to the point where he was just posting it. And then some of them he didn't even post. And I just I had to look on Twitter to see what offers Cam did have. And then I asked him about it. And I was like, well, Twitter told me that you got an offer today because he, he didn't tell me. So. Yeah. They were coming in so fast, probably. 30 or 4? Yeah. yeah. Gosh. Yeah, you just stopped counting after that. You're like, dang. I remember running home to the – this is how long ago it was. I remember running home to the mailbox, like, during my uh, off period at school. I run home to my mailbox to check that thing. Oh, I got a couple pieces of mail. I felt I felt like it was a great day. But now you can get text messages, uh, tweets, DMs, all type of stuff. They can contact you. And you don't have to go to a mailbox to get yeah, caught. But they still they still fill your mailbox up because when they first whatever date it was that they could start sending stuff out to them and everything, our mailbox was full. Then we got UPS that was dropping stuff on the porch, and we got some stuff from FedEx. And I'm like, it's not that serious. Oh, so, it, <laughs> it was that serious. I just didn't know because Kim is my only child, so I didn't know it was that serious. But I mean, when he came home, I just had all the stuff laid out. And I just thought it was cool. Like for his birthday, um, even for his birthday, like a lot of the schools would send him, he'll get a whole the mailbox is full of birthday cards. All the coaches are sending him birthday cards and everything. And I'm like, Oh, you think you hot shit now? Huh? And he, <laughs> just, he, just, to, he, just, he always laughed about it. They they're trying to make sure that they be the one. Uh, that you know, I don't want to say that I didn't. I don't want him to say that I didn't send him something for his birthday. I forgot about his birthday or something. So they make sure they get those in. They're gonna send those birthday cards. I can tell you that much. Right. Um, I want to say thank you though. Thank you for your time. I know you're super busy, busy being a business woman and the mom to be able to sit down with me and uh, have this conversation. I, I really appreciate it. Um, I want to make sure I give a plug once again to your business and uh, let everybody know out there, if you do have a business and you do want to have it, promote it right here on Prime Parents or the Big Dog Chico Show, you can. And it'll look something like this at the bottom of the screen. Look at there. <laughs> and then also look at there, right at the bottom of the screen. Anybody want to promote, holla at your boy, I can get it in. If you need a place in Georgia, if you need notary in Georgia, you need clothing, holla at your girl right there. Candy. Your taxes yeah. done. Are your taxes done? Because you know it's tax season coming up. Yes. Get them with that tax number one, one more time. Or do you want them to call that number right there? You can call that same number. 912-531-7878. I might make a jingle for you. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, um, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. Yes, yes. Oh, last but not least, go ahead and shout out to all your people. Anybody you want to shout out to hometown, church, family members, uncles, children, dogs, cats. Just the city of Statesboro. Thanks for supporting my baby. The whole city of Statesboro and everybody in the surrounding areas. Like she said, yeah. 75 mile radius. Holler at her. She can get you into a place that you need to be in. All right? Yes. Thank you once again, Miss De Denise Michael. Holler at her. And uh, this has been another edition of Prime Parents with Big Dog Chico. Season 2, episode number 4. Stream it. Like it, share it, and all the other good stuff. We're going to be up and about this thing. Thank you very much, Ms. Michael. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.